Well, they tune his investigation to a new trend online that has law enforcement very concerned. Ads found on Craigslist offering free rent in exchange for sex. Two News Investigates reporter Natalie Tyndall found out it's happening right here in our area. Well, I've been digging into this story for months, finding these ads on Craigslist locally. All advertising free rent if the person provides sex, is a friend with benefits, or a bed partner. But I found it's potentially illegal, dangerous, and hard to prosecute. This one is saying that um, he wants a, uh, a live-in companion, and you'll get your own bedroom and bathroom. All you have to do is cook the meals, clean the house, and be available to me sexually. The people who wrote these ads are looking for a roommate in the Miami Valley area, but not just any roommate. They say they want a friend with benefits, an open-minded white female or bed partner, all offering what appears to be sex for a free room. And we found that can be illegal. There is uh, an implication that that could be criminal by the placement of the ad. They're asking someone for sex for rent. Uh, but prosecuting that based on the ad itself would be difficult. Dayton's assistant prosecutor Andrew Sexton says the wording of the ad plays a big part in the legality of it. If the entry actually says sex in it, it's getting closer to being illegal. But using the phrase friends with benefits is harder to prove. Ultimately, Sexton says the ad itself is not illegal. But if that ad is answered and sex is involved in exchange for rent, that's prostitution, a crime in the state of Ohio. And it doesn't matter if both parties agreed to it. The problem isn't the consensual act behind, between the parties. It's the fact that it's done for hire with something of value. In these cases, it's rent. Detective Melanie Phelps is in charge of Montgomery County's sex trafficking unit. She goes undercover, so we didn't want to show her face on camera. She tells us the reason these ads are so concerning is because they could be targeting young women who have no other options. When you're looking at living on the street or living in somebody's house and, okay, I, I sleep with them occasionally, but I'm safe, I'm warm, and I have food. So sometimes it comes down to a basic need of the individual. Both Phelps and Sexton believe ads like these could open up another avenue for sex trafficking. Where it's a good situation for them at the beginning, and then it becomes dangerous, it becomes violent, and it turns into a situation where they're there against their will. Now, Sexton says these types of crimes can be difficult to prosecute because it can be hard to find the person behind the ad. Now, I emailed one of the men who had posted an ad in our area hoping to get questions answered about why he decided to post such an ad. He declined to answer any questions. Natalie Tendel, 2 News, investigates.